What's going on guys? Today I have a first impressions video of a pair of shoes that I never thought that I would actually run in and that is a pair of Hoka's. Let's get into things. So these are the Hoka Clifton 6. Uh, it's a shoe that I have been looking at but it was kind of more or less I was like interested in the shoe but I didn't think I would actually ever try it or run it it's just one of those that you always see but you're like eh, it's kind of interesting I don't know if I would actually use it though and uh, to my surprise I was looking for something that was a more of a long distance shoe something I would wear specifically like on the weekends or I'm a little bit more fatigued and I did go to the local running store and I tried these on and let me tell you uh it was kind of it was kind of like a perfect fit. It was like one of those shoes that you try on and you know as soon as you try it on, you're like, yeah, this is gonna work. With that being said, I tried on a couple other pairs. I tried on the 1080 uh, V10s. I tried on the Hoka Rincons. Uh, I tried on a couple different pairs of shoes and these felt the best for a like higher cushioned shoe, something I would wear, like I said, on those longer run days. But with that being said, uh, I just wanna give you my first impressions of this shoe before I get into a like kind of like a final review after like 50 miles or so. But with that being said, let's get into uh, what I think of this so far. So the first things first, like I said, when I did try these on, they, they fit good. Like right out of the box, I was like, yeah, like I slipped these on and they felt perfect to me. Now I did get these in a wide. I didn't even try these on in a regular fit. I tried them on in wide and I was like, yeah, these feel comfortable. Like I have room, I have plenty of room. So I can't speak necessarily for the uh, regular width, but as far as the wide goes, these feel super, super good on my foot. I do wear a 10 and a half. There is a little bit extra room in the toe for me lengthwise, but uh, like I said, if it's going to be something that's a long distance shoe, I want it to have room. I want it to feel good. I want to feel comfortable, especially after your feet swell a little bit after those long runs. And it's not something I'm gonna be running too fast in. So I like the fit of them. I thought the fit was perfect. Um, like I said, I, I didn't I didn't try on the regular fit, but the wides, these fit really good for me. Now the lockdown, I, I've had a really good lockdown. It is kind of like a conventional tongue, as you see here. Nothing fancy about it. The upper is just like a regular mesh upper. It does have a little bit of some overlay stitching over here for some extra structure to the upper. But it's simple, it works. Um, I don't have any complaints about it right now. It laces very well. I can get a pretty good fit. So I do like how they fit in general. Now let's get into this midsole. It is definitely thicker than anything that I have ever worn for a running shoe. Um, I am getting into more training, more volume. I am training for a half marathon right now. So I wanted something that had a little bit more stack height, a little bit more cushion to it. And this, this does the job. It feels really good. You know, I tried them on at the running store. I hit the treadmill that they had there. And I just kind of knew based off of like a quarter mile run that like this has enough cushion for me uh, to feel good, to feel that I'm not really putting in too much effort, especially on my feet where they uh, feel like they're really gripping into the ground or digging or using them uh, as much as I would in something that's a little bit flatter or something that doesn't have as much give to it. So the 13 mile run that I went on was straight out of the box in these and it felt really, really good. Now at the end of the 13 miles, because I am in training, I was fatigued but my, my feet felt really, really good. Uh, and then the next day, which was yesterday, I hit a five mile run on the treadmill. And I personally think where this shoe shines for me is when I do those treadmill miles. It felt, it felt really, really comfortable on the treadmill, a flat surface. Now this does have that uh, early stage meta rocker is what I believe they call it. It's gonna be more towards the forefoot. When I do land, I feel like I'm rolling just a tad, nothing like uh, a carbon plate shoe, which I've tried uh, previously. And uh, those are definitely like over the top leaning. These just a little bit, but it's enough to notice that you're pushing forward um, more than you are. So uh, I really like the cushion in this. It is a five millimeter drop. This shoe actually makes it seem like I want to land more my mid to forefoot. Um, I have not heel struck in this at all. I don't think there's like any wear at all on the heel from uh, about the 20 miles that I've put in it so far. So uh, I really, really like the fact that 
uh, it makes me run a little bit more forward keeps me upright I really like it I don't think that it was slowing me down at all um, even though it is a larger shoe and uh, let's get into that uh, so the weight of the shoe, I just weighed it. It was nine and three quarters ounces, and that is for a 10 and a half wide. So a 10 and a half normal is going to be a little bit lighter. And I think on the website, it shows this shoe. I'm not sure what they use as a reference. I think it's an eight or an eight and a half, and it says that it's nine ounces even on the website. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is definitely lighter than I thought. On foot, you would think that this thing weighs a ton, and it it really does it for the size. I didn't have a problem. I didn't notice it that much. And uh, besides that, you know, they do cut weight on stuff like the sole here. This is just some exposed foam. It has a little bit of grip, as you can see. There is some traction on it. There's some rubber towards the front and towards the heel where uh, you would get a little bit more uh, high abrasion areas where you're going to wear it down a little bit more. But I think as far as two runs that I put it on it, so far, just my first impressions, like I'm saying, um, the shoe's gonna last. It's gonna last some miles. I'm gonna say 400 miles, somewhere around there. Um, you know, the midsole might start breaking down before that, but as far as like durability goes, I definitely think this is there. Now, that's pretty much it for my thoughts so far. This is the first time I've ever ran in a Hoka and I am pleasantly surprised. It's one of those shoes that definitely I never thought I would wear. I've seen people wearing it in the gym, on long runs, during marathons, half marathons. I've seen it kind of everywhere and I was like, that's just a big clunky shoe. Um, what's the point of having that much foam in it? Um, it doesn't seem like something you would go fast, but you know what? This shoe for me isn't a shoe that I'm gonna use to go fast. I have plenty of other shoes to do that. It's gonna be one of those shoes that's, you know, this is meant to put in those miles, to get that comfort out of it so that I can run the next day and I'm not gonna be beating my feet up too much. So that's about it, guys. I really like this shoe so far. I'm definitely gonna give this something like an eight or a nine out of 10. Um, so we'll see how uh, my full review video goes. I'm about, I would say 50 to 75 miles. I'll talk about it again. But until then, that's about it, guys. This is my first time trying a pair of Hoka's and I really, really enjoy them so far. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.